this primrose stitch I'm going to be using Stylecraft Sunday DK. I really love these yarns. I find the colour changes are really soft. I really like them. Um, this particular shade is called Mint Chip. So I'm going to be using the recommended 4mm hook. So to start with, as always, you just want to create your slip knot. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, then I do have um, a specific slip knot and chain tutorial in my Absolute Beginners series, um, which I will link down below. Um, but so I'll just do my slip knot quite quickly now. I'm just going to yarn over, hold between my fingers yarn over and hold again and then pull the back loop over the top. So that is just the super quick demo of the slip knot. But like I say, if you need it in slower or more detail, just go and check out that beginner tutorial. Now the primrose stitch is done in multiples of three. Um, so if you want to chain any width of project, as long as it is a multiple of three. So I'm just going to yarn over and pull through, that's one. Yarn over, pull through, that's two. So I've just done a quick chain of 15 just for the sake of the tutorial. And then whatever length chain you've done, you need to add two more to the end of your chain. So one and two. And now we're going to work back and create our foundation row. And we're going to do it in start into the third chain from the hook so this is one two and this is your third stitch just here and you're going to do a double crochet now remember I'm working in UK terms so in the US this would be your single so to do a double crochet you just pop your hook straight through that chain yarn over and pull up and you'll have two chains on your hook and yarn over pull through both you're then going to chain two, so one and two, and you're going to go back into that same chain that you just worked into, and you're going to do another double crochet. You're then going to skip the next two stitches, so I'm going to skip this one and this one, and then I'm going to repeat that into this third chain. So I'm going to do a double, a chain two, and a double back into that same chain and then again I'm going to miss two so I'm going to one two work into this third chain and I'm going to repeat chain two and then double back into that same chain and then miss two and double chain two and double so if you want to pause here and work along your foundation row and I will meet you back um, when you get towards the end just here. So once you've done your last set of stitches into this chain you should have two chains left and that's when I will meet you. So I've got two chains left now and I'm going to do a half treble into that very last stitch. So a half treble again UK terms is yarn over, insert into that last chain, yarn over and pull up, I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So your foundation row should look a little something like this. We're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and this now is the rows that you will repeat over and over again until your project is as big as it needs to be, you're going to repeat that first row that you did and this second row. So I've just done a chain three and turned and we're now going to be working into the chain two from the previous row. So you've got your two double crochets and a chain two space just here. And that is what we're going to work into. So we're going to do three trebles, so three trebles UK, three doubles US. And you're going to yarn over and you're going to insert into that chain two space. Yarn over and pull up, you'll have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then you're going to do two more trebles into that same chain two space. two, 
two, and one more. That's three. And then going to jump across to the next set of stitches and do three trebles again into that chain two space in between your two doubles from the previous row. One, two, and Three. And again, you're going to skip across to the next set of stitches, do your three trebles again, and you're just going to continue doing your sets of three trebles into that chain two space from the previous row. You're going to do that all the way until your very last set, which would be just here. three so I've got one last one set to work into this chain two space just here so I'm going to do my last three trebles into there so that's one two and three and I'm then going to work a treble into the last stitch of the previous row. Now it is a bit of an awkward one to find. I'm just going to yarn over and into the end of that very last stitch from the previous row and I'm going to do a treble. So that is how you should be looking so far and now we're going to chain two And turn and then we're going to do again our double crochet chain two double crochet and we're going to do it into the top of the center stitch from our three trebles so you've got your first stitch here this is your middle one and that was your, is your third stitch so we're going to be working all the stitches into the top of the middle stitch so you just want to do a double, chain two, and a double back into the centre stitch. And then again, you're going to skip straight across to the top of the centre treble, and double, oops, double, chain two, and double back into that centre treble. And again, skip across, you're going to do them into the centre of the next one. And you're just going to work that all the way along until you've done your last set into the last treble. I've only got a couple more here to do, so I might as well just do them with you. And then into the top of this last centre treble. Chain two and double again. And then we're going to do a half treble crochet into the top of the chain three from where we started in the previous round. So one, two, and that is your third stitch just here. So you're going to half treble, so yarn over, insert into that stitch, yarn over and pull up, and yarn over, pull through all three. So again, that's how we're looking at the end of this row. And now you want to chain three, one, two and three and turn again and now we're going to work back across into our chain two spaces that we created on the previous row. So you're going to go straight into your trebles, so yarn over and straight into that chain two space and do your three trebles, so one, two and three. And again, skip straight across and do your next set of three trebles into your chain two space. And you're just going to do the exact same. You're going to do three trebles into your chain two space that you created. I apologize if you can hear all that shouting outside. It's the, uh, the neighbor's children playing out. <laughs> Fortunately, there isn't a great deal 
I can do about that. Um, I've sent my own off with their dad to go blackberry picking, so at least mine are quiet. But Well, they're probably not being quiet, but they're elsewhere. And again, my last set into the last chain two space that I made. And again, you're just going to treble into the top of the chain two from the previous row. It might be a little tricky, but this is your first stitch just here. And then this is the top of the second stitch. So you're going to treble, so yarn over, insert into the top of those chain two from the previous row and complete your treble. And now again, this is how you should be looking. So you're just going to repeat um, those last two rows over and over again until your project is as large as you want it to be. I'm just going to do a couple more rows now so that you can see how it looks as you work up further with the pattern. Um, so I'll see you back in a moment just to show you how it looks. Okay, so I've worked up, um, so I've got four complete row repeats now. Um, so I've got my row of chains and then trebles, chains, trebles, chains, trebles, chains, trebles. Um, and this is how we're looking. Um, it's a really beautiful stitch. I really do like it. Um, it is one of those that if you're an absolute perfectionist, your sides aren't absolutely perfectly straight. Um, if I just pop my hand behind, you can see that you do get little bumps as you work up the pattern, but that is absolutely normal, it's nothing to do with you, and um, you haven't gone wrong anywhere, you do get little bumps along the edges. But again, that's nothing that a really simple border wouldn't fix, um, even if it's just a row of double crochet, um, or if you wanted to do something a little bit more fancy, um, you could check out my other border tutorials. But that is it for the Primrose pattern repeat. Um, obviously, if you wanted to finish off, you would literally just yarn over and pull through and then you would snip off your yarn and pull out and that and then you would just pull that tail end tight and that would be it apart from weaving in your ends but I really hope that you've enjoyed the tutorial and that you will give me a little thumbs up and remember to subscribe because I do have lots more tutorials coming very soon but thanks as always for watching guys I'll see you again bye